Ayo hey, friendos, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we have a lot of new products to cover. So what you'll see today is a mix of items that came both from BoxyCharm and from the Sephora VIB sale. The very last of my VIB finally came in today. Let me know, did you order anything last minute? And did it come shockingly late? Because mine took the longest it has ever taken. I think we were going on like a week and a half here. But anyways, here's the products that you're going to see in today's video. The Rosing Cream Bronzer. The Natasha Denona Jubilee Palette, the Violet Voss Wild Dahlia Palette, the Complex Culture Mascara, the Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum, the Givenchy Prisma Libra Powder, the Lawless Make Me Blush Velvet Blush, the Tarte Double Take Awake Eyeliner, St. Lux Lip Liner, and lastly the Alomar Pero Primero Primer. So if you guys are enthusiastic about everything that we have in this video or a few things, if you like Sephora makeup, go ahead, hit subscribe because I cover a lot of makeup from Sephora and friendos. We're going to start with this eye look, so just stay tuned. So friendos, since I don't have a new eyebrow product and because I didn't want to start this video off by giving you all PTSD, I went ahead and filled in my eyebrows. So I think today we'll start doing something a little bit different from what we normally do. I'm going to do my eye look first. So I'm going to start out with the Pero Primero Primer. This is from Alomar Cosmetics and this did come to me in a BoxyCharm box. And I've really been enjoying this primer. It's one of those where it's not super, super white, but it still gives you a light base. And it's like a little bit tacky, but dry at the same time. I don't like it when it's too, too tacky. So my eyelids are oily and I don't like that sticky feeling. So guys, now that that's down, let's check out two new palettes that I got in my BoxyCharm. So we have Natasha Jubilee and we have Boss Wild Dahlia. All right, looking at these, getting my inspiration. It's here. So I'm going to start off with this pink shade in the Jubilee palette. I was so thankful to get a Natasha Denona for such a cheap price. I think this was $8. And these particular ones are now selling for more than $40. Getting that pink on there using this big fluffy brush. The brush head itself is fluffy. Not so much so big. It's a teeny tiny little brush. And all of you with working eyes know that I am dragging this color out over my brow bone. Now for my next shade, I'm going to switch over to the Wild Dahlia palette. We're going to go in with this brown shade right here in the center. And this of course is going right into my crease. Now, so far the shade is not bad, but it definitely doesn't feel as creamy on the eye as Natasha. Then again, whatever does. And now staying with Wild Dahlia for a bit, I'm going to go into this darkest shade right here. Now, I'm not really sure yet whether or not this is a black or a really dark navy. I think it's a black. Yeah, that's what it is. And as you guys can tell, I'm just using it in the inner corner and I'm using it to connect to my lower lash line. Okay, switching back on to Natasha. I'm gonna go in with her navy shade. Actually, my sister swatched this earlier and she said it turned out more of a dark teal. Ooh, I think she might be right. Let's check this out, you guys. Once again, the polywog is right. So this time I'm using that new pyramid brush from Half Magic Beauty, dipping in. The contact I'm making with the shadow is lateral, just like so, because I don't want this to get all over the brush, especially for what I'm doing right now. This is going right in to my lash line. So next up, I feel like we could use some shimmer on these eyes. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. I'm gonna start out with this pale yellow shimmer from Jubilee. 
crappy Anastasia brush. Let's go in. Let's see what happens without any spray. Oh my goodness. You guys, she is sparkly. Let's see it with spray. She packed a punch. Now switching back over to Wild Dahlia, let's try out this shade right here, this orangey copper shade. Now with my LR105, it's a flat shader. Same routine, no spray. She's kinda crumbly. She's crumbling up in my pan. Still though, the pigmentation is there. Okay, let's spray. And I'm being careful not to just wipe away the color that I put down right before this. This is gonna stay down a little bit lower. Now next, I want to go into Jubilee. We're gonna do the pretty blue-green shimmer. I've got a flat definer. Wow, not wet. This is just how it performs straight out the gate. So I know a lot of you guys are Natasha lovers. Do you ever have someone tell you, I don't really get the hype around Natasha. And you're just like, well, have you tried it? <laughs> So from here on, I am spraying my brush. I'll probably go back in with a small, little more precise brush to clean up in a second to get everything blended together. Oh yeah, and I wanted to take a little bit on my bottom lash line into the corner. Okay, now I'm going in with my precision brushes just to clean everything up and do any final blending. So now my guys, we are moving on to liner and lashes. I got this Double Take Awake from Tarte and the Tarte Takeover Box. Let's try it out. So I could absolutely see this being a favorite if you are someone with tiny eyes and you just want a really, really small felt tip. For me though, I prefer something a little bit longer and that's what my house labs does for me. It's also a little bit more pigmented, a little bit more opaque than this black, but I don't hate this. I still think it's a good product. I wanna blur out this liner just a teeny tad more. So I'm gonna go back into Wild Dahlia and get that original black and just use a tiny brush to kind of go along that line here at the end. They're from my waterline. We'll try the other side to this double take awake from Tarte. I doubt I'm gonna like this. I normally don't like a white waterline on me. I have really big eyes and I think sometimes this just makes them look too big, but we'll see. I can always go over it with black if I want to. And I definitely want to. You see this? <laughs> not my five. But what I will say is that went on quickly and easily. And if you are someone who wants to make your eyes look bigger, this isn't a bad product. So now let's try out the new mascara that I got from Complex Culture. It's Executive Level Mascara 5-in-1 Lengthening Mascara. And you guys remember this came in my last boxy charm. Okay, it did what I thought it was gonna do, which is next to nothing. Switching over, I have my Old Faithful Marc Jacobs right here. How I miss his brand. Okay, I'm gonna excuse myself to go off camera so I can line with some black liner that you've seen a hundred times before and put on some lashes. I'll be right back. And we're back. So now I'm going to use my Hourglass Primer. This is the Mineralville Primer. Oh my gosh, in my mirror, what a difference. No more potholes, really brought down the inflammation. Love this primer. 
And friendos, I have talked about this product, but I haven't shown it to you on camera yet. So this is the Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation, and this does have an SPF of 25 in it. Now, I am oily, so a serum foundation did not sound like something that would appeal to me. I heard Nakia Joy recommend this product. I think she said this is her favorite one from the year. I found this at TJ Maxx. I scooped it up. It's a hair too light for me right now, but it still looks amazing. And we're gonna bronze up the skin here in a minute. And now going in with my Merit foundation brush. And y'all, this is just a foundation that makes your skin feel good. I feel like you get the moisturizing ingredients when you first put down, but then it dries down. And normally that doesn't happen for me. Normally a serum foundation will get oily on me really quick. And that does not happen with this foundation. Also the finish of it, it's skin-like. It's not super matte, it's not dewy. For me, I think it's almost perfect. So now I'm gonna go in very lightly with some concealer and blend that out. Same brush because I'm lazy today. Okay, so this I purchased during the Sephora sale. I heard Taylor Wynn rave about it. This is the Rose Ink Solar Infusion Soft Focus Cream Bronzer. So I thought we'd try that out today. Kind of weird packaging, but whatever. It looks nice, and this is made in the USA. It's looking really nice so far, very natural. And what she said about this is that it dries down. So I prefer that my cream bronzer dry down since I am so oily. Okay, now let's contour away this double chin. So this blended out so nicely. It looks very natural. I'm really pleased with it. I did decide to purchase one of the darker shades when I got this. Then I purchased one of the top rated blushes on Sephora. I haven't really tried a lot from this brand, Lawless, but let's give it a go. This is the Make Me Blush Velvet Blush, and this is the shade Sakura, and it is made in Italy. There's the shade. Again, so skin-like. Overall, I feel like we really tried out some good products today. And the very last new product that we'll try on today will be from Givenchy. Now, this is something that my friend here on YouTube, Elinka, constantly recommends, and she uses it in a lot of her videos. Now, I got the one with the limited edition packaging. This is the Givenchy Prisma Libra, I think is how you pronounce it. It's spelled Prisme Libre, but I don't know. Anyways, a very cute packaging. If you guys want to check out Alinka's channel, her name is spelled I-L-I-N-C-A. She does a lot of high-end and luxury makeup just like me. Okay, so, all right, so I'm gonna go in with the foam pad that it came with. To me, the finish is a little bit on the glowy side, but I definitely see some color correction from this. And it is very, very powdery, like extremely finely milled is what I'm getting at. Because of course it's powdery, it's a powder. <laughs> this is absolutely the most finely milled product I've ever used. I just remembered, I do have a new lip liner to show you guys. This is Morganite Lip Liner from Saint Lux. And this came in a boxy charm. I'm actually really liking the color of this. It's really similar to my favorite P. Louise lip liner. And my sister has spoken. We will have plastic surgery today. It's the name of the shade. And lastly for today, the last thing, the absolute last thing, and then we'll all move on with our lives, we have Coconut Cove. 
This is from Skylar and they are a clean beauty brand. So this has notes of bergamot, coconut, and ambrox. It says ambrox. I guess they mean ambroxan. Let's give it a go. Not really the most ideal perfume for this time of year, but maybe for where I'm going next month. Oh, it actually smells good. And this is where I have to leave you guys. And I'm so sorry because I wish we could stay here all day just trying out new makeup. Now, as far as the longevity, as far as fallout of the eyeshadow and that kind of thing, that's something I'll have to update you guys in a future video about. So I can't really do it sitting here for eight hours. I guess I could. You know what? I don't have anything else to do. Let's just... Oh, we do. We have things to do. Okay, so we we can't do that. So guys, I wish you all a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. It really does mean a lot that you would choose to spend your free time here with me today. If you had a great time, please don't hesitate to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not done so already, because if not, we'll both have to live in the sorrow of never knowing. What could have been? Alright guys, have a great one. Bye!